Cool. We've got Shane on. What's up, Shane? Um, you guys, I think you guys all should, I mean, depending on how many more people come on, I'll just like mute people as, as needed. Um, but yeah, whatever you guys need help with, like this is your time to shine. Basically, if it comes down to anything related to social media or landing pages or traffic or messaging um, or anything that we've been talking about, the 321 method on how to just attract deals to you when it comes down to your own posts on social media, um, go ahead and just let me know. So I don't know how long. Oh, cool. We've got Aaron on. Um, awesome. So it looks like that email actually helped. Um, but yeah, so welcome everybody. So I'm not Mike. Apologize. I'm Tucker. <laughs> like <laughs> I handle a lot of his social media, his funnels, his email marketing, etc. Um, and so, yeah, basically just this time is for you guys to ask any questions when it comes down to social media or funnels or landing pages, or if you want to see examples, or if you want to see what I'm doing behind the scenes in terms of helping real estate investors with their social media posts, et cetera, to attract deals to come to them. Or if you have questions about, hey, what should I say in these posts? Go ahead and take the floor. I'm gonna ask you a question. What's up, okay. Shane? Um, so as far as social media um, marketing goes, obviously, there seems like there's a just a lot of real estate noise out there. People are just posting to post to post. So what is different about your posts that you're doing for Mike that's actually a, a, either a call to action or is in simplistic terms that people are relating to it. You know, how, how are you using social media to, and I, I assume you're driving that to a website or a landing page? So great, wonderful question. So think about, think about social media as like going out to networking events, but like 10 X on steroids. So the goal for social media is to post content that is directly related to the people who you're trying to serve so that they actually end up messaging you, emailing you, or texting you, asking to work with you. So Larry can give some examples, but um, what I like to do is what I like to call the three, two, one method. So this three, two, one method is something that I learned from, gosh, like a mentor from forever ago but he was doing it on Instagram. So it works everywhere, right? It's just a different, it's a content strategy. Three days in a row, you want to post lifestyle posts. These lifestyle posts, they help build relationships with your audience. Um, number two, the two days saying, after- Are you saying lifestyle related to, to me, the individual? Yes. Correct. Yep. So lifestyle in terms of lifestyle, your own personal lifestyle or business lifestyle. So we're talking you with family, you with friends, you at the park, you on vacation, um, you shopping with your uh, two-year-old grandchild, for example. Not, um, it's just whoever it is that like you're trying to, like you're just building relationships with your posts. Um, I'll show some examples if you want. I'm sure Larry um, can show some examples too. But the whole goal for these, think, think about the investors that you know when you talk about a lot of noise. A lot of people are spamming, like they're literally just asking for deals all the time, right? Or they post grainy, weird, fuzzy photos. Like it just, it doesn't look appealing. The way we have crafted it is we are building relationships with people, with our lifestyle posts so that they see that we are normal people, that they don't see us as gurus, that they see us as normal human beings. And what this does is this builds relationships. That answer your question? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So three days in a row. So let's just say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you post a lifestyle post. Um, Wednesday and Thursday, these are where value posts come in. Okay, so we got the three days um, in the three, two, one method lifestyle. Two days in the three, two, one method is value. These are types of posts that you actually educate your audience. So um, if I can ask, are you a flipper, wholesaler? Who, what do you focus on, Shane, the most? Like, what's your main source of business? Um, I'm primarily working with real estate, so I'm sellers and buyers. Sellers and buyers. Okay, so perfect. So you know that your target market, your target audience, the people who you do business with um, are buyers and, sorry, uh, say that again, buyers and sellers, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. So you should be um, your value post. Let's just say, what what is one of the number one things that you know that, that sellers struggle with when it comes down to selling their home? Chase. Chase, this is a really good example. So Chase, um, he owns, he, he, um, he, 
buys and sells homes, right? He, he, he's a flipper. And then he also has a pressure washing business. So I told him today at 7.30 a.m., I want him to go and post this on his profile. Hey, homeowners, I have some spots available um, with, I have some spots available, available from my team um, by the end of this week. Who here, need, who, who out of my friends list needs help or needs pressure washing done? Since like end of January, I've been doing the three, two, one, and I've, it's kind of evolved into a mix of the, those six total posts you know, a week. Um, I, I probably average like eight to 10 and it's a, it's a, it's a mix of those, the three, two, one, it's a mix of the three categories and, and I don't do it all in order. Um, and I don't count anymore. I used to count and I used to try to like keep track of like, okay, how many, how many personal like lifestyle posts have I done? How many values have I done? How many business have I done? There's areas in there that I can still do better at. Well, um, but I wanted to address a question that Shane had when he, you know, when he first asked you about the noise, right? Because as a real estate professional, you tend to, it's like buying a blue car. Like you never notice how, how many people have a blue car until you buy one, right? You never notice how many people have a white car until you buy one. And all of a sudden it's like, man, every car on the road is white. Every car on the road is blue, right? Once you, once you identify like, oh, I need to post more and I need to like mix in my real estate with my lifestyle and everything else all of a sudden it's like, man, everyone's posting about real estate. Like there's so many realtors, there's so many people doing this. The reality is there, there are not so many people doing it and there's very, very few people doing it well. So to view the remaining portion of this training video, become a premier member of the Smarter Real Estate Tribe where we are focused on one thing, getting you results and doing what you've always wanted to become a real estate entrepreneur. To learn more, go to www.smarterrealestatetribe.com or click on the link below. Hey, what's up, Tribesters? I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely, you want to see the next one. Click on that right here and hit the subscribe button. And down below, we've got all the comments. Listen, I want to hear from you. Our team and I want to put videos together that help you either launch or improve your existing real estate business and helping you make more money. So hit the comments, check out the video, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the other side.